This week, I'm reviewing the first episode of the anime Berserk. The original, not the remake. Yeah, you probably won't like what I have to say about it. Hey guys, Lunar Knight here. It's nice to look back and see how anime has grown over the years. From movies, to mangas, to even video games. But we can forget that back then, anime looked a lot different than it did now. Back then, most animes were dark and gritty to light and kid friendly. So in spite of all that, I only saw the first episode of the original Berserk, and honestly, I have no idea whether or not to take it seriously or not. This is Berserk. We start this episode in a town, in the rain, with nothing that is part of the story. And this is the part where Stewie interrupts the story and say, I'm already bored and confused. Bartender, have you heard any good news? No, no good news at all. Really? We can talk? I just thought we'd just stare at our table for an hour. Just then, a group of soldiers walk in with a kidnapped girl. I wouldn't make a joke about this, but honestly, this is like everybody's Thursday. Especially when they make the girl serve them wine and make her clean up her spill with her own mouth. I am not comfortable with that, but I think someone out there made that a fetish. Hello. You think that's bad? See what happened to the last guy. Message for you, son. Who goes there? Honestly, I've seen better designs, and honestly, I've seen worse. So this guy kills most of the thugs and leaves Blondie to hold the girl hostage. Take me to your master. I want to see him now. Uh, you know I have a hostage and a sword with me, so shouldn't I be the one making the demands and you try to negotiate with It seems like this armor is pierced with a knife. Why do we even wear this? <laughs> God, you bastard! Tell him the Black Swordsman uh, has come. Okay, just because you put black in your name does not make, make it badass. It just makes it sound ridiculous. One of the henchmen gets up and attacks. And since I can't show that on YouTube, I just have to say they hit me halfway. Oh, what a mess. I'm too old for this kind of bullshit. Stall in black, he carries an enormous sword larger than he is and fights with the repeating crossbow. He slaughtered the castle guards. Okay, one, I didn't see any black on him. Two, that sword isn't really that big. And three, those are the castle guards. If one guy can take on five people, Pretty sure something needs to be fixed. So the minister sent the rest of the knights to search for the black swordsman as the master watches from his castle. He has finally come. The black swordsman. <laughs> now where did I put that death note book? I hope I didn't give it to that Nat Wolf kid. So the black swordsman is sleeping in the woods. Man, I didn't know that this show was so boring even the characters fall asleep. We are always watching you. Igor? Your blood, your flesh, your rage, it's all ours. Igor going through a sex change? <laughs> Man, I knew I shouldn't have eaten those shrooms. Moon! Back at the castle, the master is talking to the minister about the black swordsman, and the minister tries to ask for forgiveness. Human food, money, these things are of no use to me. I'm stubborn like that. Once I have it once, I never want it again. I don't know what to call that. I love to hear humans scream as they burn, and the sound of cracking bones. <laughs> oh my god. That's his armor? I know he's evil, evil, but that's how his armor is? I think we could take a hint that something is off about this guy. But come on! That is like giving the Nazis devil horns and pitchforks. Just because something sounds evil in, in, on paper doesn't mean it look, doesn't look ridiculous in real life. So the master burns the village. <laughs> Kill every last one of them! Or pose for a painting. 
as the Black Swordsman arrives and attacks some of the soldiers. I've heard rumors about you. You're the one who's been making trouble for all of us servants. You know, the origin story of G.I. Joe is a lot darker than I thought it would be. The Black Swordsman attacks and seems to kill the master. You know, I'm just gonna play this. <laughs> Called it. So the master turns into a giant snake monster and attacks the Black Swordsman. Now you understand just how fragile you humans are. Yeah, well, at least I can form consonants. So the Black Swordsman literally blows him away as he lays down dying. We are mortal and fragile. But even if we are tortured or wounded, we'll fight to survive. Also, you should get better armor. The last one looked ridiculous. The monster is then buried alive as the Black Swordsman has a flashback to when he was training as a knight. And I know a lot of people like this anime, but I just thought it was ridiculous. The writing doesn't make sense at times, the animation is good at some points, and it just shows paintings in other points. But I can't say I wasn't enjoyed by it. So if you want to watch an anime that doesn't make a lot of sense but enjoyable, I'll recommend it. So enjoy this awesome and silly anime in your, to your heart's content. I'm Lunar Knight, and if you want to know what I think about the remake, stay tuned. Hey, brother, one look here. If you like that video, you'll love this video right here. And I also have a Patreon if you want to check that out in the comment section. Ah, damn. Hey, brother, one look here. If you like that video, you click this one for to watch one one you'll really like. And I also have a Patreon account, so if you want to check that out, it's in the description down below. And if you want to see more videos from me, just hit my right hand. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.